In this tutorial, we will learn the visibility criteria for numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 9. At the end of this tutorial, you will quickly uh, know is big number divisible by any of these numbers. Let's get started. We will often uh, use very obvious fact that if number is represented as a sum of several numbers, say 18 is equal to 6 plus 3 plus 9, and each element of the sum, each element of the sum is divisible by some number, say 3, uh, I mean that number 3 um, divide any of the element of the sum 6, 3 and 9. In this case, uh, the resulting sum of these three numbers, 18, is also divisible by 3. Another example, 4 plus 16 plus 12 all of these numbers are divisible by 4. That's why the resulting sum, 32, is also divisible by 4. Let's begin from the simplest case. Um, divisibility criteria. Divisibility criteria, DC, for number 2. And this criteria is um, if last digit digit is even or zero. It's quite obvious actually, um, but uh, we will, for the sake of Um, for the sake of the beauty, um, prove this result. Assume we have a number 128. Obviously, this number is divisible by 2. Uh, but, and we write um, decimal representation for this number. We already know what is decimal representation from previous tutorials. Uh, this is 1 times 100, and 100, as we know, is 10 squared, plus 2 times 10. 10 is um, equal to 10 to the power 1. This is 10 to the power 2, plus 8 times 1, which is 10 to the power 0. Um, of course, it's obvious that um, this 100, 1 times 100 is divisible by 2 because 100 is divisible by 2. 10 is divisible by 2. That's why um, the second element of the sum is divisible by 2. Here we have 8 divisible by 2. And if we had, for example, 7, instead 8. Our number um, wouldn't be divisible by 2. That's why we only look at the last digit and if the last digit is even or 0, if the last digit is 0 then uh, this last member will disappear and every element of our representation is divisible by 2 and resulting number is also divisible by 2. That's all. Um, the general, the more general proof is assume we have number A, B, C, D, where A, B, C, and D are digits. And let's write the corresponding 
power of 10, which we learned in the previous lesson, 0, 1, 2, 3. In this case, we have the rep decimal representation for this number, 8 times 10 to the power 3, plus b times 10 to the power 2, plus c times 10 to the power 1, or simply 10, plus d times 1, or instead 1 we write 10 to the power 0. Um, this is equal to 1. And obviously, every um, member, every element of this sum is divisible. I put this v um, saying that this is divisible. This is also divisible by 2. This is also divisible by 2. And everything depends on this d. If d is uh, even or 0, then our number is divisible by 2. And that's all. It was the proof of our result. Let's finish. Let's put a non-empty triangle here. Next, um, let's talk about divisibility criteria for number 3. Divisibility criteria for number 3. And the um, result is if the sum of digits of digits is divisible by 3. So if the sum of digits of the number is divisible by 3, then the number is also divisible by 3. Um, let's prove this result in a general way, like we did before. Let's begin the proof. Assume we have a number A, B, C, D, and once again, let's write the corresponding powers of 10 for decimal representation. This will be a times 10 to the power of 3 plus b times 10 to the power 2 plus c times 10 uh, plus d times 1. And This is, um, let's write it not as um, powers of 10. Let's rewrite it as numbers. This is A times 1000 plus B times 100 plus C times 10 plus D times 1. And here, because we are talking about divisibility for number 3, uh, we can write 1000 as 999 plus 1. And obviously, 999 is divisible by 3. And also, this is divisible by 9, actually. And this result will also works uh, the same equivalent result also works if we put here also 9. nine. So for 3 is if sum of digits is divisible by 3 and for 9 and for 9 is if sum of digits if div is divisible by 9. The same result. So uh, we can assume that we can write that 1000 is equal to 999 plus 1 
and obviously 999 is divisible by 3 and 9. Here, 100 is can be written as 99 plus 1, and again, 99 is divisible by 3 and 9. 10 can be written as 9 plus 1, and 9 is divisible by 3 and 1. And if we rewrite it, it will be A times 999 plus 1 plus B uh, times 99 plus 1 plus C plus C times 9 plus 1 plus D times 1. And if we rewrite our um, last result, we will have A times 999. And this one will move to the end and it will be just A plus A. Here we will have B times 99 and this one multiplied to the B will move to the end. It will be plus B and here plus C times 9 and this one multiplied to the C will move to the end again. It will be plus C and plus D will remain in its place. So what we have here, we have that all of these elements of this sum, this element is divisible by 3 and 9. This element is also divisible by 3 and 9. This element also is also divisible by 3 and 9 because 999, 99 and 9, uh, all of these numbers are divisible by 3 and 9. And everything depends on the last elements. The sum of, is this is the sum of the digits this is the sum of the digits. Sum of digits of our number. And if the sum of digits of our number is divisible by 3 or 9, the whole number will be also divisible by 3 or 9. So we proved our result. Um, that's all. Our result is proved. So once again, if we have a number and uh, the sum of the elements of this number, sum of the digits of this number is divisible by 3, the number is divisible by 3. And if the sum of the L digits of the number is divisible by 9. The number is divisible by 9. Let's um, give some, some examples. Examples. First example. Is number 129 divisible by 3 divisible by 3 um, because 1 plus 2 plus 9 is equal to 12 and 12 is divisible by 3 the answer is yes yes it is it is divisible by 3 in mathematics uh, this symbol uh, stands for follows. So it follows that we have a positive answer. So 129 is divisible by 3 because sum of the elements 
1 plus 2 plus 9 is equal to 12, and 12 is divisible by 3. Next example uh, is number 1829 divisible by 9. Because 1 plus 8 plus 2 plus 9 is equal to 20, and 20 is not divisible by 9, the answer is no. So our number 1829 1, is not divisible by 9. Another example is number um 17874 divisible by 9 because 1 plus 7 plus 8 plus 7 plus 4 is equal to 27 and 27 is divisible by 9? The answer is yes. Our big number is divisible by 9. So now we can quickly define is our big number is divisible by 3 or 9? Just assuming the sum of the digits of its number. Like us and subscribe to see new videos on Open Math Camp.